Acuna could be up next for welterweight champ Corey Spinks. They ran into each other in Vegas. If this one ever kicks off for real, it's going to be really special. I'm going to come to his turn, and I'm going to show y'all what I can do. I've been there before, and I'm going to go there again. Gatti may be throwing up a smoke screen when he says he can outbox a master boxer like Mayweather. I think uh, my boxing ability uh, will do the job and uh, with, with the strength and the power that I have, that will you know, slow him down. So we're going to start with uh, the boxing and uh, see what happens. But Mayweather believes he's untouchable and destined for greatness whatever Gatti tries. When I go down as a legendary fighter, they're going to say, well, this guy was a risk taker. He was a this is why he's one of the best, because he's willing to go anywhere and fight anybody. Mayweather starts a big favorite here, but there are two things going for Gaffey. First, home advantage, with 12,000 fans baying for him to win. The ring is my home, so it doesn't matter where it would, this fight would have been, seen turn up. He had all 40, 40 fights in, in the same area of what, Philadelphia, Connecticut, New York, and Jersey. That's where he had all his fights at, you know. I'm one of the fighters willing to take chances and take risks and go anywhere. Gatti will be bigger with extra power, but he might struggle to land punches against an opponent so slippery and skillful. It's not going to make me as quick as he is, but uh, I've never been known as being a fa uh, fast fighter anyway, so it doesn't bother me. Surely Arturo Gatti has to make this a rough, rugged, fast-paced fight, but even then, he may find Mayweather just too cute and slick, and the smart money says Floyd by decision. Arturo Thundergari versus Pretty Boy Floyd. The fight is called Thunder and Lightning, but you know, Thunder make noise and Lightning strikes and come Saturday night, I'm here to strike. I'm gonna knock him out. And do you feel stronger about doing that after everything he's had to say about you? Uh, I, I felt stronger the day I signed the contract. That I would knock him out. I, 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 he's a great show, man, we know that already. I, I, think, I, think, this is, I think this is the, his forum to do this, to, to, to really jump up there and get let, out there and let people see who he is. Let's see if he does it tonight. Let's rejoin Jim and Ian for coming. A regal style entrance here for Floyd Mayweather, who looks super confident, doesn't he, on his way to the ring. He's been talking all week. He hasn't shut up, and he hasn't had a good word to say about anybody except himself. He's even rubbish Sugar Ray Leonard lately. Well, his performance had better be good at the end of it. That's all I can say, Jim. Yeah, well, I don't like the trash talk, but what? One thing I do admire about Floyd Mayweather Jr. with the trash talk, he puts himself on the line. He puts himself in a position where he has to deliver, and he's done that again here. There's 12,000 people here screaming against him who would love to see him lose, and that's the position he's put himself in. But he comes with the pressure, he's supremely confident. He does not rate anybody in the fight game in the same league, league he is in. But we do have to say, he has produced some special performances. Maybe not enough of them, though, Jim. Some people say that he hasn't yet really proved his heart and his guts if it comes to trench warfare. And I wonder whether Arturo Gatti can take him into those areas tonight. Everybody knows this man is super gifted, absolutely super gifted. But will this be something else tonight? I just wonder. Well, he has faced a few people in the past who we thought would ask those questions and they haven't really done it. Hopefully Arturo Gatti will tonight. You have to be prepared to take punches to get close to Mayweather and Arturo Gatti has never been found wanted as far as that score goes in his life. He has to make it tough and here he is. Now this is the fellow... Oh! -ho. <laughs> that caught me by surprise, I must say. We're all ducking for cover then. It's the thunder, you see. That's what they call him, Arturo Thunder Gatti. And he's lived up to that nickname. This is the man who was revered by fight fans everywhere for being involved in a series of wildly exciting back from the brink victories. He's been fantastic value. He has fought with his face rather too much, 
He's reverted to being a bit of a stylist lately, but I think he'll be back to the brawler tonight, sooner or later. Yeah, well, he's made his name as one of the most exciting fighters in the game today, but he's made that name against fighters who fight the same way he does. Tonight, he faces a man who would not dream of fighting in that style. I would say the most gifted man probably in boxing at the moment. So he's going to be faced with problems tonight he hasn't been faced with before. But I look forward to see how he deals with those problems. He must use his strength, his power and his size to drag Mayweather into a battle. Gentlemen, by way of Caesars, Atlantic City and Valley's Atlantic City. Main event, along with Top Rank Incorporated, are proud to present the featured bout of the evening. Thunder and lightning. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. Presented in association with Caesars and Valley's Atlantic City with Nemeron and HBO pay-per-view. Sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr., WBC President Jose Suleiman. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout will be Dave Moretti, Luis Rivera, and John Stewart. And when the bell rings, your referee comes up, Earl Morgan. And now, with a sold out, standing room only crowd in attendance, For the millions watching around the world, courtesy of HBO pay-per-view, fight fans, are you ready? There's only one thing left to say, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get her! Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with white, official weight, 139 pounds. Professional record, a perfect one. Consisting of 33 bouts, 33 victories with 22 knockouts. And he is rated by all as among the best pound for pound fighters in the world. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, the challenger, former junior lightweight world champion, Former lightweight world champion, the undefeated Pretty Boy, Floyd Mayweather. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with blue. The visual weight, 140 pounds. The best of the record. 39 victories, including 30 knockouts with six defeats and two world titles. From Jersey City, New Jersey, the ultimate Larry Dunk Warrior, two-time world champion, the reigning, defending WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World. to go here. Gatti's eighth world championship fight, Mayweather's 14th. Thunder and lightning, that's what they're calling it. You know about Gatti and the thunder, the speed, the lightning is Floyd Mayweather. Well, which of those two forces of nature prevail? The black trunks of Mayweather, who is the challenger here for this WBC version of the light welterweight championship. Gatti in blue. 13,000 fans packed in here. Some of them have paid $1,000 to be at ringside to watch this. First real big test, I'd say, for Mayweather 
at this weight as he looks to become a three-weight world champion. Gatti holds this title. He's 33, though, now, and set so many wars along the way. Mayweather, who are looking sharp? Gatti, very wide stance, which uh, cuts down the mobility when Mayweather attacks. He will lose pressure, split seconds, getting back out of range. But already some sharp-looking leads coming from me. A good right hand from Mayweather. Using the speed early on, but remember, Mayweather was shaken up by Demarcus Corley, maybe significantly, in one of his only previous fights at this weight. What happens if Gatti can find some heavy artillery from somewhere? Well, every problem's already for Gatti with the speed of Mayweather's punches. And look at the confidence, his hands are low, just waiting for the target to present itself, then going for it. It's very, very difficult to catch cleanly, Mayweather. Always has been. The rap against him has been that too often he's been too good for his own good and hasn't really put on a show for the fans. Well, early signs are good. He's not running away. He's staying in punching range. He's trying to count out every move that Gatti makes. So he's not looking to frustrate and annoy him. He's looking to outpunch him here. Mayweather has dismissed Gatti as a C plus club fighter. That's what he called him. I think it was just to try to sell the pay-per-view, to be honest with you. Can't really think that about a man who has beaten eight world champions in his career. You see the difference in speed between the jabs? Gatti has landed a couple of jabs, but you see the difference in quality when Mayweather lets one go. Still very much the early stages though of this. Two good shots there. Gatti looks away and he's gone. By left what was he doing? What was he doing? He was complaining to the referee. Defend yourself at all times. The ropes kept him up and he has to take account in the opening round. Now that was lunacy from Gatti. Ian, you just mentioned this man has beaten eight world champions. How can he do something so stupid with his experience that he's had? What a piece of nonsense from Arturo Gatti. He just lost the first round. Well, that was amazing. After all this time, he goes and does something like that. He was looking away from Mayweather and had to take a count. And the worst thing he's done, he has shown Mayweather that he has the power to put Gatti on the floor. And that's, that's all he needs for the complete confidence. The old Black Mamba, as he was called in the corner with Floyd Mayweather, his uncle Roger, who held this very belt, the WBC light welterweight title, a generation back. Look at this. Can you believe this? You have a complaint? Fine. Imagine Arturo Gatti complaining and looking for help from a referee. I did not think I would ever see that. Well, he's come back from taking counts many, many times before. That's all you can say. But it was definitely Mayweather's opening round, and it must be a 10-8 round as well because of that. Body shots from Gatti. Now, they might be a key from here if he can slow down Mayweather in some way with body punching. But another left hand catches him. Looks a bit bemused early on here. Gatti, who fights out of Jersey City. This is home turf for him, originally from Montreal, of course. See, there is no warning whatsoever for Mayweather has to go. He doesn't have to set himself. That jab just shoots out as though it's on a spring. Flash and brash. That's Mayweather. And some ground rapids. Mitch can big left hook. That's caught Gatti again here. He's having a rough time early on in this fight. He's having a boxing lesson here. And that's what he's having. Making all the mistakes. You think it would be a lot tighter. You think the chip would be down the hands up and try and get close. He's trying to work at long range and he's been picked to pieces. Watching this very intently, maybe a future rival, one of these for Ricky Hatton, who is with us tonight. We'll get his views in a moment on early developments.
looks super confident, Mayweather has seemed super confident all the way through the build-up to this fight. He sometimes looks like a Rembrandt of the ring in there, an artist on canvas. And I tell you, Ian, he's showing good power up here at 140 pounds. There's lots of start in these jabs and hooks. Big trouble for Arturo Gatti. Who's often fought with his face. His defence has never been that great. And at the moment, he just cannot catch up with Mayweather, who looks very silky. Well, Ian, this is a performance so far from Mayweather. He's not looking to hide. He's in punching range all the while. He's actually out fighting Gatti at the moment, standing his ground and coming up with the better work. You do always wonder, though, with Gatti, whether there's some drama to come somewhere. It's still early. It's all Mayweather so far. Another great shot, right hand. <laughs> no wonder they called it lightning in the promotional material. It is lightning, that punch. There's another one. Picks the gaps beautifully. He was throwing left jabs and he's caught this fella. Well, you don't need massive power when you're punching oh. so precise. Look at that. Brilliant so far, this from Mayweather, who's going through his full repertoire. And again with the right hand. Getty does not know where they're coming from. It's electric, the start, from Floyd Mayweather. He doesn't know where they're coming from, but knows where they're landing. Welcome back, Floyd Mayweather, who spent the day watching Wimbledon on television. He's a big tennis fan, but he's ready for the boxing action, all right. Well, I'm impressed with Mayweather so far. I mean, he's not doing it on the fly. He's not trying to steal around, standing his round. This is good stuff from Mayweather. Game and first set to him. Will it be match as well? Here's round three. Black Trunks, the self-styled pretty boy with such a dazzling amateur star. 33 and 0 in the pros he is. Gatti, 39 wins, 30 inside schedule, six defeats. He lost all three in 1998. They said he was washed up then. But he's reinvented himself, and he's been in more thrillers, I reckon, than Alfred Hitchcock's been involved in. Well, they go home with a jab there, but Mayweather they're not troubled in the slightest by it. Still Mayweather working over Gatti, who just at the moment cannot seem to get into this fight. This really is top quality stuff from Mayweather. Good. The body shot, though, from Gatti there. First little sign of discomfort from Mayweather there. And remember, in the ring here tonight, we reckon that Gatti's about 155 pounds, Mayweather maybe 147. So that's a half stone plus gap as they get into the ring. He might not have been in with this kind of power before, but Gatti's got a land to make the power count, all the strength. Yeah, and we have to see... If the fight goes past the halfway stage, that's when the weight and strength may take his toll. But at the moment, he's been totally outboxed. He's caught a couple with that high-held right glove. He's blocked a couple of left hooks in this round. They've tried to improve his boxing skills to give him extra longevity under Buddy McGirt. But he's been caught plenty. Oh, lovely shot again. Found the angle. A little low blow in there. Referee on Warren didn't like that much. But again, it was pure class from Mayweather. And look, his defences, his hands are low. He's not worried. He knows he has the reflexes to pull his chin away from anything Gatti throws at him. This is a master class so far, unless he does something silly. He's trying to edge a little closer. Gatti says his own boxing skills are a bit underrated but it's a very very dangerous business trying to outbox a boxer a real boxer like Mayweather needs to make it a brawl getting close with him and he's getting kicked off on the outside all the time he's on the outside Mayweather must be the boss mustn't he these are beautiful punches Mayweather's throwing so precise so well delivered and real snap in them too He's putting on a show here tonight. The surprising thing there, Ian Gatti gets close, but he wants the referee to break them up. Doesn't want to work up close, that's a surprise. 
new precision boxing. Winning everything at the moment, Mayweather, with ease too. Don't worry, don't worry, baby, come on. Welcome back, let's get the views of Ricky Hatton who's watching this with us at ringside. Worry, Pretty baby. electric so far, okay. Mayweather. Wonderful just performance, bit of a masterclass really. Arturo uh, Gatti just can't seem to do anything with him. Uh, He's got to try and do something. As, you know, Floyd Mayweather will stay like this all night. Arturo's got to either put the pressure on or, or really do... He's not done anything in the first couple of rounds. He's really got to put his foot on the gas and uh, really do something about what Floyd's doing here because he's so in control. Thanks, Ricky. More from our own world number one at this weight later on. Uh, taking pictures of him at the moment for American television, incidentally. Fourth round. Black trunks, remember. The unbeaten Floyd Mayweather. frustration and the, the enthusiasm may begin beginning to dip for Gatti. There's nothing's gone right for them. The only thing I would say is that maybe they thought it would be like this early on. Maybe they'll be thinking that the later rounds could be more their territory in this fight. Well, that's a lovely body shot as well from me where every punch in the book. Ah, yeah, well they got to expect the second half of the fight if he's still there to have more success when the, the pace lows but he's got to have something in the tank when he gets there. It's no good if he's had the, the, the fight punched out of him by then. Just marking up a bit and getting swollen, Gatti, not for the first time in his career. He's got that great catchman Joe Souza to help out. Somebody said the other day that he's seen more blood doing Gatti fights than Count Dracula ever did. <laughs> oh, look at this, look at this. Combinations, dazzling stuff again from Mayweather. who's putting on a virtuoso display, I'd say, the performance of his career to this point. Bearing in mind, though, that he did floor Diego Corrales five times on his way to stopping him in ten. But this is good. It's more than good. In fact, it's brilliant. Ian, there's actually a case that this carries on to score this round 10 each without a knockdown because he has dominated it so much. Every oh. punch quality. He's looking for the knockout. He's looking to take Gatti out of there. And this could become very, very dispiriting. He can't keep on taking these, surely. Mayweather's not really known as a heavy hitter. Not now, you, really. You can see the way his head has been jolted. These are quality punches. He is punching his way here. So precise. Well, he's come back from the edge so many times, Gatti, but I would venture to suggest if he comes back from this, to win, it would be his greatest performance yet. Oh, terrific punch. He just, what is the economy rate of this guy Mayweather tonight? He's not missing. This is like target practice now. He's just doing as he pleases. He's just looking at the target and finding it every time. Mayweather eight defences of the nine stone four pound title at super featherweight three defences at lightweight here he is looking to become WBC champion up at light welterweight look at the accuracy here nothing missing everybody reaches a stage where they can't do it anymore I wonder if Arturo Gatti finds himself getting to that stage here tonight it's so often a styles problem as well and I think he's, there's so many problems in there really star wise for Gatti, as he's in with a guy who just will not engage him in a slugfest. He's doing everything right, though, strategically here, isn't he? Yeah, and I think one of the problems, Gatti and Buddy McGurk, they would have expected to be outboxed in the early stage, but not hurt and shaken, and that's what's happening. He's actually been hurt by Mayweather's punches, and that must be difficult to take. I don't think they were expecting that. Roger Mayweather, the trainer of Floyd, so we don't need a strategy against Gutty. We just shut our eyes, throw a punch, and we're going to hit him in the face. You always do. A bit disparaging, that, yeah, but you, you know what he means. Yeah, that's the stuff we could have done without, because, ah, yeah. as usual, the pride that Gatti brings into every fight, he's bringing it here. 
but he doesn't have too much else, I'm afraid. Needs to land one of those big left hooks out of the blue. It's just a sign of the lack of marketability that Mayweather's had in the States so far is that this is the first time he's ever been in a pay-per-view fight in the United States. That surprised me when I came over for this one, but it's the truth. And he's getting less money than Gatti. 3.6 million Gatti, 3.1 million for Mayweather. Not a bad night's work for both of them. That's the second time Gatti's done that. He's bent over all the way down. Mayweather is still entitled to punch him when he goes down there. The last time it caused the knockdown. The fact of the matter is, despite taking everything from Mayweather, Gatti is still there. And that's just about the best you could say at this point in the game for him. You know, even when Gatti gets close, he doesn't seem to know what to do when he gets there. He's still worried about what's coming his way. Mayweather, I think he's completely got control of his mind at the moment. He's close, but he's doing nothing. Look. Just a bit less from Mayweather, though, in this round. He has sometimes coasted in fights in the past. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. And then picks him up. Two jumps. He cannot miss him. There's no head movement from Gatti. He's paying a heavy price for that tonight. And Mayweather is standing, claiming the centre of the ring. He's actually out fighting him now. He's not only out boxing him. This is as good as I have ever seen Floyd Mayweather. No doubt about it. And he's playing with Gatti at the moment. He really is. He almost feels for Arturo because this is a humiliating exercise for him so far. He's never going to quit, but he's walking into shots. It's only five rounds, Ian, but we're getting towards the stage to the corner. Thank you for pulling him yeah. out of this. need to say anything at all to Mayweather. Now, this is a man who's seizing the moment. This is the biggest fight of his career, and he knows it. Yeah, and he is putting on a real show, and it's a manly show. He's not stealing anything here. He's walking right out to the centre of the ring and taking the title at the moment from Gatti. At the moment. Sixth round. Everything so far to Mayweather, including... A knockdown after an amateurish error by Gatti when he looked away from his opponent in the first round. Three American judges scoring it and not difficult to score so far for anybody this. Now what can Gatti do about this? Can he salvage some pride or is this going to become a long night of torture? Mayweather beginning to show the, the defensive artistry, just walking back to the ropes, there's that left hook. Really is a master, you have to give him credit, what he says, he backs it up. Oh, the right hand, he didn't see it coming, blurring hand speed. That punch travelled at about 150 miles an hour, it seemed. And he does the job properly. It was it was in shape two months ago for this fight. It was down to wait then. This is wonderful stuff from him. Well, I'd say you're watching one of the great performances of recent times by any fighter in the ring. It really is a wonderful display, this by Mayweather. Well, the things we wondered if, if Gatti could do to him, he is now doing them to Gatti. Completely out fighting them now, dominating them. And they really do have to think about whether they let 